Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. The Sex Demon, aka Diddy, he's all about destroying lives, including his sons. His two sons, Christian and Justin. Yeah, I'm going to show you guys. These kids, these boys, these young men turn out to be just like him. According to the document, the lawsuit, Christian, see, the thing is, Christian, I really never paid attention to him, but ever since the scandal and all the stuff that happened, I really wanted to observe. I'm an observer. I know, I can read people so well. I get information. By reading people, just observing them. So I did something that I don't really do, right? I followed this guy on Snapchat just to see how, you know, it, how the kids would, you know, would behave. Would they go into hiding? But no, not Christian. Christian, he's so awkward. I feel like he's just so awkward. Like, he just... He tries hard, like the whole, like his whole uh, style, I guess. Like he has this girlfriend where he's just, my goodness, he treats her like a piece of meat. I don't know her. I only found out who she was because of his snaps. You know, I don't care enough to dig into her thing. But my goodness, like, he is just, like, it's all about, like, the way he treats her. I mean, just by the snaps. Like, she's like a, a, a an object. Like, her body is like an object. Like, so I can tell he doesn't know how to treat women. Because look who his dad is. Look who his dad is. Look who raised, <clears throat> look who raised him. Right? Look who raised him. He's just so awkward, his behavior, the way he snaps. He, he's just like, you know when someone is like a little kid, yet they want to like do the things that they've seen. They want to look cool. Yeah, that's him. Like he's just so awkward. He is one awkward guy. You know, so I can only imagine. But anyways, listen to this. In the lawsuit, it is mentioned that Right here, Christian Combs, drugging and sexually assaulting a woman. Are you surprised? Look who his dad is. Okay? Christian Combs, the one who looks like Diddy. Right? The one who looks like Diddy. The one whose mother uh, is Kim Porter. Him, the awkward one. Yeah, the one who objectify women's body or his girlfriend she just seemed like a a a, a bird you know like no res no no class you know just no class and she has this bbl this what do you call it yeah bbl no b this fake butt right she got like a fake butt and it just looks so abnormal it looks weird and he's always just like you know, the way he just like groping her and and like just like grabbing on her body parts and like s just disgusting. OK, no woman should even allow their men, a man who loves you wouldn't even want to treat you like that in public and or in videos or in pictures for the public to view. But anyways, so Christian Combs, yeah, the one who looks like Diddy. Yeah. He's just like his father. According to the document, okay, Christian Combs drugging and sexually assaulting a woman. This is the lawsuit filed by Rodney Jones. Remember the one that's suing Diddy and, you know. So, okay, and then check this out, right? Check this out. So, you know, Justin is being sued as well. Christian is not being sued, but he's mentioned. You know, he's mentioned in the lawsuit, right? And um, 
So Justin, as you know, is um he's mentioned a couple of times throughout the lawsuit, right? So here we have. So Diddy, July second, twenty twenty three. In California, had a listening party, right, and at his home, and it's mentioned that the R and B artist that was there, because they gave clues, uh, is the R and B singer, R and B singer, R and B artist, won a Grammy, and got into a trouble. Over a Bayesian billionaire. Now, in the first video, I didn't, couldn't think of who it was. After I uploaded the video, it just came to me. That's Chris Brown. Okay, Chris Brown. Yeah. So, oh, Fist Brown, right? So he was at the party because the name is redacted, as you can see. But when he gave the clue, and uh, below. Yeah, it's Chris Brown. Uh, Jay Combs is Justin Combs, so he was there. Chris Brown was there, and a lot of sex workers and some underage girls. Okay, so Justin is pretty much deep. It's like he's deeper in it than Christian. From you know what I'm seeing in the lawsuit, he's. Like he's deep. He's like knees deep. He's like knees deep in this, right? Um, what else? So yeah, so he's everywhere with Diddy, pretty much. Okay, and he also right here. It says the whole Rico, because Rico is a big deal. Rico is like yeah, it's the feds, feds, feds. So right here. You see, he mentioned Justin uh, again and again and again, and he says, "This is all the Rico uh, enterprise, like people who are, you know, you know, following the task for the Rico enterprise, right? Who's down? Who's doing the dirt? Who's doing the work? Who's doing vile things? So a lot of people are listed, but what I'm focusing on right now in this video." Is Justin Combs, you know, Daddy's kids, Christian, and um, Justin. So right here, solicits prostitutes, underage girls, and sex workers, and he would also engage in freak offs. What kind of <laughs> to have your own son? You know, mm, I want to say something, but I I think it's too. No, I think I I would get in trouble. I would get in trouble. I wouldn't put it past him. I would not put it past him. This son is involved, is engaged in freak offs. You know what freak offs are, right? That's where did he get all these? He had Cassie doing freak offs. You know where he would record Cassie. He would have her first. He was hiring. Male prostitutes, you know. Then he had Cassie doing it, um, and I'm sure he had his his celebrity friends involved. And I really believe all that is really, yeah. He, it's a business, you know. The whole filming, people having orgies and stuff. Yeah, I think he records because well, he does record them, right? Cassie's lawsuit mentioned is recorded everywhere. Right? Everywhere. Laptops, cell phones. Yeah. So I'm sure his boys, his friends, they all have a link they could watch. And they join in. They take turns. So yeah, so he has his sons doing that. So that means he's probably, not probably, I alleged, I'm going to say allegedly. It's my opinion. I believe Justin Combs and Diddy. We're in freak offs together. There are people who are sick like that. There are people who are into these things. Okay? This monster who has no limit, right? He's so gone, right? You don't you you don't think 
it's a possibility that he doesn't see he wouldn't let that stop him son or not and then this and then he's so he's so deep and he's so vile he probably would need things like that to get him going because he's he's such a sex demon he's he's done it all he slept with so many people in hollywood so many people prostitutes non-prostitutes um yeah everyone men women young yeah mhm so i'm not i wouldn't put it past him that yeah i mean if justin is engaging in freak loves who's recording him of course it's him his own dad this guy literally destroy his kids lives i can only imagine what about the women the the young girls the young women his young girls his daughters well the twins and then there's another one i believe right uh chase and then there's a little baby a toddler i believe now um but kim porter's uh uh twins and then the other ladies kid they like what i don't know 17 18 so yeah that's you can only imagine what they are involved in these kids are like so messed up because of this monster and misha misa misha misa whatever you failed him you fell justin yeah yeah i know you called him out when he got into the whole um the whole situation with diddy you know the she she did a post on instagram and she was like you know i'm fed up i'm tired i'm done like i'm ready to talk pretty much right like a threat you sat back this whole time and until there was a report of i guess diddy did something or justin got in trouble and that's when she made the post but lady you sat back i know he abused you too okay jean deal said it all right so but you you sat back because you were afraid of this man or his power you let this man destroy your son all right so here's the the last part where justin was mentioned in the lawsuit so remember when they were at uh the recording studio and there was um Mr. Combs and Justin Combs and his friend G um they had a huge argument and um yeah one thing led to another and yeah gunshots and um ring out and um Yeah and yeah so so one of them either Puffy Diddy or Justin shot his friend his own friend okay so this monster destroy his sons his kids lives oh man it's sad it's one thing to be a monster but to bring your to bring your kids down with you to bring them down along with you to get them involved to turn them to be just like you is quite sad but yeah um thank you you guys please share this video like this video and i will see you in the next one peace